Hey there everyone, Hatesh here, back again with another video and yes, I do sound horrible because I'm having some of the health issues, but we are not here to talk about it, it's just weather stuff, nothing much serious. So let me give you the context of this video. In this video, I will be again comparing Adobe XD, the experience design and sketch. The reason behind that is uh, simply I have compared these softwares in the past as well and I have given my point of view in the past. So I would be doing that again because a lot of updates has been made in both the softwares. Now let me give you first the context here. Now I'm a very early adopter of the sketch. I loved it absolutely for making prototypes and I've been using for a very long time. Now at that point of time I was making videos that how Photoshop cannot compete with a sketch and yes I was completely right there because Adobe launched another software which is Adobe XD or Experience Design. Now reason behind that yes you can do all of the work that is being done in the sketch in Photoshop as well but that's not what the Photoshop is being meant or was designed for. It's a photo software, certainly can be used for prototypes, but there is a separate market for those people who make uh, app interface designs and user experience and web interfaces and all of that. Now, Adobe realized that and obviously did uh, experience that Photoshop cannot compete with Sketch, so they launched their own version of it, which is Adobe Experience Design. But just the launching of this Adobe Experience Design was not enough because Sketch was really popular and still is popular and one of the favorite toys to play around whenever it comes to prototyping or designing or anything like that. Now, when the Sketch is being combined with the InVision software, they becomes like unbeatable, honestly. Now, it was all going good until unless Adobe realized that they are losing a big market and they need to do something and hence uh, came upon uh, with this Adobe experience design. And at the first I made a video as well, you can check that in my library at YouTube that uh, yes, Sketch was still ruling the market and Adobe experience was nowhere near competing with the Sketch at that point of time. But since we all know that version really do get updated quite a lot and everybody just moves from version 1 to 2 to 3 and here we are with another version of Adobe experience design. And in my point of view, if you just want to see a short story, Adobe experience design is going to kill the Sketch in this quarter or maybe in the next quarter. And Sketch will realize this in point of sales, probably in within just six months, until unless they do something really awesome, which is releasing the Sketch on Windows. Now I know they have already made it clear that they are Mac only and they will be Mac only. If they will remain just like that, they're gonna lose a big market. So let me tell you what Adobe is doing uh, with this Sketch and how they're copying this entire feature. So. One of the features that has impressed me in the sketch, in fact a couple of them is, let's just choose a blank template for a while, this is the sketch interface and I'll walk you through with a couple of things which I believe is like exact line by line being copied from the sketch into Adobe XD which is making Adobe XD as awesome as well. So let's just have an artboard and we are having a simple artboard, yes of course we can choose any of them. Now one of the features that impressed me quite a lot is for example, let's just say I have a rectangle, uh, there we go, this is my rectangle but I I don't want just the one rectangle, I want three of them on my screen size and exact like three equal parts of these rectangles. Now one thing that you can do is you can just select this rectangle and simply can say hey I want to divide by three so I can just put a slash in three and it's going to give me a rectangle like that into this part. Now obviously I can just make a copy of that or I can press my option key and can have a copy of this and then can press the option key and have a copy of this just like that. Now this multiplication section in the size and these things can be really powerful and handy when you're working with the 2 pi r which is also known as circle and can create some of the very fancy design and in just the recent update of Adobe XD they have also done this. So let me just show you and open up the Adobe XD. So there we go. And uh, let's just have a web, uh, you can have any design, no problem in that. And recently they also rolled out an update, now you can have this exact same feature here. So for example, this is your thing and you can just have a rectangle and you can have something like this or maybe it's just fully like that. And there we go. And let's just have a fill, we're gonna have a little bit color, that's a bad color obviously. Uh, but anyways, uh, we can just make like for example you want a width wise or height wise, you can just put a slash 3 and there we go. 
the same feature is being copied exactly because I believe Sketch was the first software to introduce this kind of mathematical ability. Uh, I'm not sure Photoshop has this or now they have introduced there as well, but this was the first software to have this kind of thing. Exact same thing is now available in this guy. So this is the one of the feature which is very killer one. Of course, the repeat grid is really one of the most popular feature in this. And uh, you can just have this, uh, have it here. Uh, just like that, it's it's really amazing something that you can have. Repeat Grid is obviously very awesome. You can have it something like this and just have it like that. You can adjust the things. If you don't like that, you can just grab it like that. Yeah, it's it's really awesome. So this is one of the feature which is nailing it down. Now, another feature is actually into the prototyping. You can have a prototype and preview and all of that. It's really one of the killer ones, especially they have introduced something known as masking. Uh, I probably will make a video on that, how masking works. Uh, it's one of the very killer feature and I believe with this couple of features, they will be competing in future with the InVision as well. Now, with the masking, I don't need a feel. I don't really get a feel that I should be putting up all of my Sketch and Adobe XD designs onto the InVision and then use their prototyping feature. Now I can use everything in just uh, Adobe and the best part is, it's available on Mac and Windows. So obviously as an instructor, I feel that it's really great. Uh, that I can teach my students whatever I like on Adobe Experience Design and they can do exact same thing whether they are on Windows or Mac and this is the feature that's killing it down. So masking and this uh, mathematical ability really just uh, impressed me a lot. So now let's just come back onto the point what I really want to prove from this video. I, I simply want to prove that Adobe is making a great progress. Now all the features that you see like union subtraction, uh, aligning to the center and everything almost everything including the vector tool is now available in XD. While Sketch is also making some updates which are decent, I would say that, but it's not something really amazing and great that should compete with Adobe XD. So the only thing that can save now Sketch in the upcoming quarter is if they launch for Windows, otherwise the beginner market that they can really target, the new people who come into experience design and UI interface, are mostly on Windows and there is like uh, no get away from that. So hey Sketch guys, uh, I love you a lot and I would like to keep supporting you uh, for a really long time. But Adobe XD is moving really fast and forward and as an instructor, probably later on I would have to do all the videos on Adobe XD uh, so that people can watch them and can perform them as well. So. Hey guys, uh, if you're listening or watching this video, that's a really rare chance. But in case you're watching this, do something about this Windows thing uh, in the upcoming quarter. Otherwise, you'll be losing a lot of market and Adobe in the end is going to win uh, by a big margin. So this is my couple of things that I wanted to just show you. And really, I'm happy that all of the tricks and trickeries that I've learned uh, in the sketch, now I can apply them in Adobe XD without any problem. It's almost the same just some shortcuts are different. So not a big learning curve now, it's almost the same. So there's, there we go, here are, here are a couple of my thoughts about Adobe XD versus uh, Sketch. Probably in the future, I will walk you through with a couple of uh, user interface designs and login screens and some of the apps that we can build in Adobe Experience Design. Let me know in the comment section if you are interested in watching these videos as well. And luckily I can make all these videos now in Adobe XD because it's cross-platform and I can use all of my trickeries from Sketch in Adobe XD. So that's it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up in case you have enjoyed it. And in case you are new here, you can consider subscribing for all the programming and tech stuff that we do at this channel. That's it for this video and let's catch up in the next one.